Today, we're dealing with a sick fish. Don't go anywhere. What's up YouTube and all my fish keeping friends? How's it going out there in fish tank land? This is Joseph Harden from JH Aquatics. I'm here to share with you all my fish keeping adventures, knowledge, and more. Now today, it's kind of unfortunate. I have a sick fish. It's not so bad, but I figure I'd show it to you. Now let's get him over here. He'll think I'm feeding him. I'll bring him over here to the light. A little bit of algae on the glass. But you can see on his fin, you see the white spots. You see the white spots. And that in the back looks like ictomy or fin fungus right on the end. One of them, the, the one part looks like fungus. One on the very tip looks like uh, a little bit more like ick because it's like a little round white fuzzy ball. But I'm not stressing it so much because I know what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the water in here. I'm going to do about a 50% water change first. Right now I'm, I'm, I'm making the water right now. I'm do a 50% water change. I'm going to add... <laughs> I'm going to add marine salt first. For me, that's the most important thing. I'm going to put a little bit of marine salt into this water and raise the salinity. I'm going to add general cure, and I'm going to add erythromycin, and that's it. And I'm going to wait a week. And it'll probably be gone in about three days. And I'll keep you guys up to date. Alright, just want to do a quick update. This is three days later. You can see that it is almost completely gone. Um, it's not gone yet, but it's definitely getting better. And what seemed like more of like a little round fuzzy spot on its tail, um, that is gone. It's just um, a shaded spot, slightly velvety. It might have been velvet, I, I might be, you know, but sometimes for me it's like if I see something I just want to clean it up, clean it up before it gets any worse. I'm not going to sit around and stare at it for too long. So all I did was a 50% water change and what I actually did, I did not use erythromycin because it's kind of expensive and it wasn't bad enough yet. I didn't think I really needed to go with erythromycin. So I just used general cure with a 50% water change and about six teaspoons of uh, marine salt. And that was it. Oh, I'm sorry. I did also use ick because I was wondering if it was ick. So I used a little bit of, um, I used a regular dose of ick for a 50 gallon tank. Alright, this is my last update on the uh, sick angelfish. He's not sick anymore. This is seven days later. I don't know if you can tell, but both spots are completely gone. And he's completely acting normal. He never really acted odd. He just had two little white spots on him. But he's completely good now. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a 50% water change today. And that's about it. I'm not going to even do any more meds. Just keep an eye on him. But I think everything is good. Been that really short. Just wanted to show you that fish. That's Mr. Michelangelo, my angel fish. He's mean, but I love him still. So um, I will keep you guys updated. I told you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not going to bore you with me mixing up chemicals and pouring them into the tank and doing a water change. But just keep keep up and watch the video, the next video, and I'm, I'm just, I bet money, give it three to five days, seven days, it's going to completely clear up, and I'll do a water change after that, and everything will be back to normal. All right, thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys, all of the you subscribed. If you're not subscribed, go ahead, click on the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And remember, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.